What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a video that is designed to teach you how to implement a couple of the plays that I've talked about in the previous videos. The first one is the mesh, the second one is the drive, and the third one and the focal one for this video is the curl wheel. Now all these plays can be found in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and this is going to be an awesome video. I'm really excited about it because the curl wheel is a play that I haven't ran a ton of and so I'm not an expert on it but I think if you see cover two that could be a really good way to still implement the mesh but be better a little bit more effective uh, against a cover two type defense. There you see there's mesh right out of the gate hitting the crossers routes now remember I said what you really need to do is run no huddle here I'm going to curl wheel right to the bat just because I'm so excited to run this right there that's the route that I'm telling you about the post route that route right there is probably next to the mesh itself probably the best route in the game and here I'm gonna be able to curl up on a mesh and there's McCole Hardman getting a really good gain right out of the bat. I'm going to go to curl wheel again. There's a little bit too much of a tell, though. So they kind of know you're in it. And there's the drags. The post route was wide open. I just didn't want to take a chance because he did have a, a user over there. Now, he's not pressing coverage. So because of that, I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm not going to motion snap Tyreek Hill because it's going to give me a little bit more outside leverage and there you see there's the power route but you see this is just this is just a really difficult offense to stop when it gets going um, so here basically I'm reading that top safety but if he fades back and he does I'm going to get right in behind him get that get that post route and that is a pretty good start to the offense and you know we like to go for two here just to give you a little bit more repetition of what we're doing offensively shows man he went hard flat we're able to get that back corner and we're on the board so so far offense looks really sharp defense is a little bit of another story this year for me but we'll keep working through it If you could do me a favor and comment what you're seeing defensively that's really working well for you this year. Um, I normally am a lot better on defense than I am on offense, but this year I'm having a lot more success with my air raid offense than I am with my defense. Um, the run has been really difficult to stop. As you can see right there, I'm just giving up wide open dots looks like this guy is going to be a little bit more of a passer actually is going in the get ace now Ooh, that was a dot. Looks like you have a nice little chess match here going back and forth. One of the things that I have actually really started to consider on my defense is running a little bit more man-to-man. -man. Cause I'm not seeing I'm not seeing man get burned as bad as it used to. Um, in Madden's prior, man to man used to be kind of like if you ran man to man, you were basically giving up a touchdown. Um, and so it got a lot of it got me specifically away from really wanting to run man to man. Really, kind of ever. Let's go to it here. Oh, I completely blew that coverage. I 
There went man to man. He's doing a good job of running a little unbalanced, a little unbalanced formation. Oh, I should have had that pick. Dang it. He dashed me on that. So here's where another situation. I'm going to try to go man to man. Yeah, he got me again. So, so far, defense, it's going to be a little bit of a shootout, looks like. The defense is not really there, but hopefully he can learn some good offense from me. Um, my defense is, like I said, it's it comes and goes. Um, when I try to shut people out defensively, I'm terrible. When I stick to my bend but don't break, try to keep everything in front of me, I'm a lot more effective. Here, I'm going to go back to the curl wheel. And there you see, there's the user. So if you notice there, he's user in that side of the field. And that's a really good sign that the offense is working. Because that means mesh now comes back open. There's outside leverage. Now I'm going to go no huddle. I haven't ran drive much yet. He's probably going to shift into a cover two. Tyreek Hill is like a freaking joystick, man. He can move. But you see, part of the trick of this offense is running no huddle. There you see the power of the mesh, man. When they try to lock in and stop one read, they end up leaving themselves really, really vulnerable. Oh, just dropped it. It's my first incomplete pass in a few games. Here it looks like he's going to kind of stay in that cover. Four. Oh, got me. Mahomes. Dang it. Dang it. That wasn't good. Crap. So that was um, oh, just a little bit of a mental mistake. I should have slid with the quarterback. The play kind of died on me. Not looking as sharp in this game as I did. Have to fight from behind here a little bit. That's all right. We've got the offense to do it. So you see his adjustment. And so this is part of the scheme of Madden. And so if you notice, he can kind of tell a little bit when we come out and we move into that gun, gun uh, curl wheel play. Here, I'll show it to you here. But you'll see he'll control that right corner. Which is kind of leaving these drags wide open. But you see, he's doing a good job of that. But he only controls him, as you see here. If you notice, he only controls him when he, when we switch. When we switch completely. Other than that, he's kind of leaving him on an island. 
There he controls him. But you see how he can't cover both. And we get him back here with a good run from Hill. But you see how he can't cover both. He's kind of tipping his hat to that post. He knows we want to throw that post. And so he can't quite get around both. We're going to go ahead and take a field goal here. My, my main thing in Madden is you want to really, really think about possessions. And when you're playing from behind, um, it's not as easy as when you're playing from a lead. When you play from a lead, the game is a lot easier. It's why I actually enjoy um, getting the ball first some, some, even though conventional wisdom is you always want to kick it. But, and I still actually, you know, at the end of the day, do believe that you probably should kick it every time. But it's just another way of thinking about it. There's that run. I've been wondering if he's going to end this. He's going to go no huddle. So you see, he's kind of leveraging the spread on me a little bit. But I'm going to stick to my strategy of bend, but don't break here. Oh, that should have been me. That was my slant to get. There we go. So here he's going back to the spread look. Now I know I gotta get over here for the seam on that left side. There we go, we got him. And that's a critical timeout right there, so we're calling timeout to save the clock because we're anticipating third and long is really hard down to convert. And here we're actually going to go. Looking for the corner route. There it is. And we swat it. I think he might have completed it on us somehow. One of the craziest catches I've ever seen. Madden, it's really easy to lose your cool, but the players that win and the players that do good, they know how to respond when adversity strikes. So my job is to do the best thing that I can do this very play to keep everything in front of me, to make sure that the opponent... He's only going to get three points. That's my job on defense. If I can keep everything in front of me and keep him to three, and I can consistently score seven on offense, I'm going to win a lot of football games that way. There it is. So he, if you remembered, um, dang it, I got hit. Um, if you remember early on in the game, he hit me with that uh, several times. And this is a good time for the drive play. And there's Tyreek. Get loose. I think he's going to go on. So this is the power of the air raid. It's an offense where a quick drag can really go. And now you see the momentum of the momentum of the game has completely shifted because of that last two plays. Two plays can completely change the game. And that's why it's so important to compose yourself when you're executing a play and not get so bogged down in the pressure of the play that you don't execute. It's really critical to do your job. Really critical to, to do your best. There we go.
So now my job is to get to halftime without giving up a touchdown. Now, what a lot of teams are going to do is they're going to try to attack the sideline. Okay, that's going to be his big move is he's going to try to attack the sideline. So I'm going to audible to the cover three out of quarter three deep. And then I'm going to watch for any corner or crossing route. And there you see it. So if I was him, I'd call it T.O. It doesn't look like he's going he's gonna to take the half. But that cover three is what I called. But it's because you get those stock cloud flats on the outside. And then I kind of turn it into a cover six because I put everybody in, in the deep other than the cloud flats. And the cloud flats take away from those corner routes. So he gets the ball at halftime. So again, it's not like momentum's completely shifted. He can easily go down. We're basically right where we're supposed to be because I think I had a, um, a turnover. Oh, I think I had a fumble. All right. So he's probably going to look. Oh, he's coming gun empty here. He's going to look to get it all back in one chunk. There we go. Try to get you more reps of the offense. Dang, rage quit. Dang it. I was hoping to show you some more reps. Um, what we'll do is we'll shoot another video. So come back here. Uh, just head back to the channel. There should be another video up with another gameplay. Okay?